Sean in New York. He writes to me and he says, in previous videos, uh-oh, this is where it comes back to bite me, right? <laughs> you mentioned that unless you own a full range speaker, uh, you will benefit greatly from subwoofers. Yes, I've said that multiple times. My question is, what is considered a full range speaker? Uh, I know Vandersteen, starting from their Quattro series and up, have subwoofers built into their speakers. Does that make them a full range speaker? Is the new PS Audio speaker considered a true full range speaker? One day I will want to upgrade to a full range speaker where the addition of a subwoofer is not necessary. Okay. Well, Sean, yes, the um, Vandersteens that you bring up, I'm sure would be considered a full range speaker. These, the FR30s, absolutely a full range speaker. This, this goes down, it's flat down to about 25, 26 hertz. That's pretty full range. Does it, does it go down to 12 hertz? No. But I would say anything that um, legitimately has in-room response, and, and we'll talk about that because that's something that's kind of important. And not everybody gives you an in-room response, but that's important because where do we play it? We play it in the room, right? So how it performs in the room is critical. But if the company you're looking at shows you specs of its in-room response, and that in-room response is somewhere in the 20s, and it goes up to beyond 20 kilohertz, that's a full range speaker, any way you slice it. I hesitate to, to just make it that simple because a lot of the specs for speakers can be so confusing. I mean, it, it makes me a little upset that some of my fellow manufacturers use specs that kind of make people think, well, geez, this goes down, you know, and, but in the room, it really doesn't. And that's kind of not fair, but whatever. I'm not going to get off onto a rant about that. But if you can get an in-room response and it's in the 20s, yes, full range. Now, let's talk about the bigger issue that I don't think is being addressed. And that is the use of a subwoofer. Yes, the FR30s, full range loudspeaker. Does that mean they don't need a subwoofer? No. Why is that? Well, for a very simple reason that has to do with physics. Sounds pretty fancy, right? Well, where this speaker is placed in this room is rather perfect, because I set it up, it's rather perfect for everything except bass. And if you take my book, The Audiophile's Guide, for example, one of the things we talk about is placement of the speaker for everything but bass, placement of the seat for bass, and doing the best you can. Within this room, when we play a bass note, these, this speaker in the room will absolutely produce those bass frequencies. But in what room? Because every room has nodes, has suckouts, has boom and bust. Right? In, in the Audiophile's Guide, we have our speaker designer, Chris Brunhaver, who's a, a double bass player. He's going boom, 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 He has this great track. And we ask you to walk around the room and find the point where the bass response is the most even. And that's where you're going to try and place your chair. But it's never perfect. Okay? It never is perfect. So the perfect way to set up a pair of speakers, whether you like it or not, is to get a full range pair of speakers, set them up for best imaging from everything from, say, this frequency all the way up here, and then augment them with a subwoofer. Why? Because a subwoofer, now you can place it somewhere else in the room to get the perfect bass response at your seat. And that's the deal. And, and I've told this story 50 times, but what you simply do is you take that subwoofer, you put it on your seat, and you put on Chris's record on the Audiophile's Guide, and you walk around and you find where that is perfect. And then you take and put the speaker there. Now when you sit down, you're going to hear perfect bass. Not because this doesn't do it, but because where it is in the room 
is not perfect for those low frequencies. And that has everything to do with the room. So hope that helps. And I don't think a subwoofer is out of your life yet. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later.